Inside this provincial lab, staff are doing about 700 COVID-19 tests a day, about a third of what they were doing at the peak of transmission. Our average turnaround times are less than 24 hours. But on top of finding out who currently has the virus, they're now testing other tests, those designed to detect COVID-19 antibodies to determine who has already been infected. We know that probably a small proportion of the population has been infected, perhaps 2, perhaps 3 percent. Antibody testing has already been rolled out in several countries, but some tests have given a higher rate of false positives and false negatives. So the focus here is to find out which ones really work. And this is another company's product. And we have more products. They're also looking at various rapid blood tests, which can give a result in 15 minutes. Many of the samples they use come from long-term care homes, but to demonstrate, they took my blood too. A prick of the finger, and then the blood goes on this strip. And then you wait. You have nothing. So that means white. That means that you have never been exposed to COVID-19. A positive result shows multiple lines. These aren't official results because they don't yet know how well these tests work. They hope to one day use them in remote and rural areas where it's more difficult to send off a blood sample. Summer is coming up, so there might be some tree planters, some blueberry pickers. So there will be a quick access to these things. This isn't the only lab studying antibody tests. Work is also being done in hospitals, including Vancouver St. Paul's. But once they figure out which tests work, there's another looming question. Does a positive result mean you have immunity? That is a million dollar question at this point. What kind of protection do the antibodies give and how long does it last? Briar Stewart, CBC News, Vancouver.